Hi, here's your kid warning. We're about to talk about the sex. I guess we got to kind of change things on uh, Monday as uh-huh. kids start trickling back into school. So the clock's going to switch. Yeah. Our early mornings will be a little bit more PG-13 come Monday. We'll but go. until then, let's have fun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Elise here wants to be on the voice disguiser because she has been approached by a friend to have a physical, strictly a physical relationship. And while she's into it, she's having a lot of guilty thoughts about it. So should she get over it? Should she just like, you know what, stick to my values on this thing? One eight five five Bird Show. Hey, Elise. Hi. Hi. All right. So give us all the deets here and the guilty feelings you're having, <laughs> but your body is crying for it. Wow. <laughs> Yikes. Look, I've just never done anything like that before, and he's really upfront about it. Like no strings attached, nothing like that, and. I mean, I'm I'm so attracted to this person, um, so that's it, it's like a hard decision to make because I really want to, but I don't know. Like, will I regret it? Um, can I be just completely in it physically and not get emotionally attached? I I don't know. Like, I kind of just want to get your opinion on this, and if I say okay, like he wants to meet up this weekend. Mm-hmm. Have you ever had a strictly physical? encounter with a guy before that like there wasn't any kind of like emotional connection no never yeah, yeah you women and these these emotions yeah, and no, connections <laughs> <laughs> so what is it about what is it about this guy that makes you consider trying it for the first time i mean i've never like been so attracted to someone mm-hmm. like he's he's like He's really good looking. <laughs> okay, so let, let, let's go ahead and ask women, all right? Uh-huh. Um, if you've ever been in this situation before... Zach Efron. Oh, I'm sorry, that you weren't going to ask uh, who? Wh- My bad. <laughs> <laughs> you already have it played out, huh? <laughs> um, so if you're a woman and you've ever been in this position before, like you have never engaged in a relationship like this, I mean... Uh, Being physical for you has always been part of being connected and emotional to somebody. And here Elise is saying that this one's just going to be, he is just asking me to be physical. And you've gone for it. Did you regret it the next day? Did it change your attitude about sex and the way you looked at it? Or was it like not a big deal when you were done and you're glad you're doing it because your body was aching? Um, so I, I automatically was like putting myself in your shoes. And there's there's no way I could do that personally just because I do get so emotionally attached. No one um, night stand for you ever? No. Really? Yeah. Oh. I just, I, I just... I catch the feels yeah, too easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... Um, I was shaking his head yes also. What you mean? No one night stand? No, nah, I mean, nowadays, no, nah, I'm a little too over that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back I've in the day. Been there, right. been there, done it. But I immediately went into, like, you know, my sign, I'm a cancer, and we are very, we're very emotional beings. So I wanted to ask you your sign yeah, and let Mo true. tell you whether or not you could be actually <laughs> capable of doing this. Because I know as a cancer, I don't feel like cancers could pull this off. <laughs> no, y'all are typically way too attached to your emotions. Yes. So what, uh, what sign are you, Elise? So I am a Gemini. Oh, hell yeah, you could do it. (laughs) Absolutely. What is it about Geminis? Geminis just typically have the ability to, like, turn it on and turn it off when they want to. Like, they can be very emotional about things, but usually if they decide that they have had enough, they they can flip a switch and show you a side you have never wanted to see. All right, so you you and he are, have been friends for how long? I mean, we've been very casual friends through a friend for, like, two years. How does a guy, you know what, as a sidebar, yeah. how does a guy even approach you on that? Because it could be insulting. Like, hey, I really think you're very, very pretty. But I don't o- want a relationship But other with you. than that, <laughs> you don't want anything yeah. else. How did he approach you on that where you didn't feel put off? Yeah, so I guess it was late and we were hanging out at a, in a group and I was like oversharing, you know, that I've never done that before. And like, you know, we were just sharing about relationships. Like he was just saying he has friend that he's done that with and they moved and so we just started talking and he's like you know we could do that i you know like he could be the first where we you know we just hook up and Uh, like have it be a regular thing and you just like didn't ask any follow-up questions or anything like that didn't get in your head you're like (laughs) okay all right let me take your proposal all right let me send it up the uh, flagpole (laughs) and let's see what we come up with all right so i'm gonna I'm going to put you on with two different people here. One is endorsing it, and the other one is saying she's done it, and hell no. 
Uh, hey, Michelle, good morning. You're on the Burt Show. Good morning. Good morning. All right, a girl, go for it. Girl, go. Go. Just go. Um, the, emotions, the emotions will come, I promise you. They will come, but you have to rein them back in, pull yourself back together, realize what you're doing, and that it's not a relationship. I'm doing it right now with a guy that has brought the best sex to my life. Hmm. You sound damn so happy. I, you Congratulations. Do. You sound very happy. I, look, I am seeing him tonight. I, look, <laughs> and I know there's nothing that's going to come from it. And that's okay. That's what you have to realize. It's okay. But just be attracted to him. Enjoy it. Go for it. Leave nothing on the table. Take him <laughs> now. step for everything he's got. <laughs> Hey, scare this man. <laughs> what she's saying is, if he wants this, scare him. <laughs> All right, now Rebecca, just looking at the other side, is saying, oh, hell no. Hey, Rebecca. Hey, so I've done that, and I think she needs out. The sex was so bad. He was just horrible after more experience in life. And you you got to have it out because he wanted to keep having sex. He thought it was great, and I thought it was the worst that they're ever at. <laughs> All right, so what was your out? How'd you get out? I actually just cut him off. Oh, oh you ghosted him? Thing when we didn't have phones then, but it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you didn't have phones? Yeah, what phones year did. was this, like 20 yeah. AD or something? Yeah. No, 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 it was... Ah, she cut out. She's no, I just, out I'm too. sorry, Alexander Graham Bell, but you <laughs> suck in bed. <laughs> I just threw a rock at his cave and <laughs> just said, nah, not going to happen. All right. So, Elise, there you got to. If you go for it, there is a chance that it's not going to be great, right? And then you're going to have to figure out a way to get out of this whole thing. And the first caller, I think, was saying, like, be prepared for feelings. Like, just this being physical, that's going to be a tough putt, okay? Yeah, it's. It's a hard decision, but it's a tempting decision, too, so I don't know. Yeah. All right, well, let's talk to you on Monday. All right, any okay. last advice from you guys? I mean, as long it, listen, only you can answer this, but as long as you can dig down deep and know that you are completely okay with the fact that that is all he wants from you, and if you do catch feelings, you have to wheel them back in, and if you believe you can do both of those things, go for it. Good luck. Have fun. Be safe. Bang. There it is. Okay. All right, talk to you on Monday. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye. The Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get The Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.